Hi everyone, Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And I just wanted to talk about how to tell which spiritual information, which divine insights is right for you, whether you are hearing it from a spirit, whether you're hearing it from a person online, like myself or others, uh, or in conversation with friends and so on. Like when is the information meant for you? What is the right information? Uh, because there's so much out there. It, it's really saturated with opinions and ideas as it should be. Actually, as it should be, because it is all about the sharing of stories. Whenever I talk to Spirit about uh, divine information, they say the biggest thing we can do on planet Earth right now is to share our stories. And that's not necessarily to tell people what to do, but to share an idea of what you know, what you experienced, and see how that inspires them, resonates with them, and so on. And so that ties into how to tell what information is right or wrong or however you see it. It simply comes down to resonance. What resonates with you? When you hear someone share something, um, maybe it is a spiritual teaching, for example, you will know when it is right for you if it resonates, if your body feels like it responds, like your whole being responds. And what I mean by that is like your mind is like, yes, this is interesting and this is making sense or I want to know more. At the same time as your heart is kind of um, expanding and feeling this like, yes, energy, as well as your body feels like a, a frequency move through it or an energy move through it or you have chills that kind of run over your body. You're kind of looking for a mind, body, spirit response to a piece of information if it is really pertinent to you. And so that's one way that you can um, sort of move through your journey and assess what works for you because along our journey and our path, it's about pulling pieces from all the things we experience, we hear, we come across. It's not about following one strict path. I mean, maybe for somebody it is, but in the accumulation of knowledge, we're gonna pull those pieces of knowledge from many different places. So you will know what you want to keep in your knowledge backpack. If we want to see it like a backpack, keep the things that resonate through your whole mind, body, and being. Mind, body, and soul. If you get a full trinity response to something, it is meant for you. It is changing the frequency now that of your whole being now that you know it. And it's for you to embody. You may notice that some pieces of information you find really interesting and you kind of keep it up in the corner there on the shelf and you ponder it for a while. And it may take a while before that information has a place in your backpack. And that's fine too. It's totally okay to keep some things on the shelf and be like, there's something about that. I don't know where it fits yet. I don't know what to do with it yet. So I'm just gonna leave it there. That's fine. And you even may find sometimes you get some information. You're like, that's garbage. That is crazy. But then say two, three years later, you go back and you're like, oh my gosh, what I thought was crazy is not crazy anymore based on the other pieces of knowledge I have. So it comes back to real open-mindedness, trying things on for you and following that resonance. So I hope that really helps you guys, especially as we move through this month of June with these kind of different energies and different ways to tune in. Really follow your body, your being, your mind, body, spirit for your next steps forward and what brings more bounty to your journey. So I hope that helps a little bit. I hope you guys have a beautiful day uh, and please do check out avalonspirit.com if you're looking to dive deeper with guidance into your journey. I'll see you guys later.